I think people think that it's a trade-off. People think you either work on quality or you work on cost reduction. And we used to think that quality costs more. But in fact, if we think about it from the patient's eyes or the person who's seeking the service, from their eyes, there's a lot of waste in that system. So if we think about it, and we think about quality from the patient's eyes, we have to think about cost and quality together. What are we going to do to make care better so it's more affordable for the person using the care delivery system? That's really, that's really the calling card for our generation of healthcare improvers. Well, I would say there are probably three keys to success. The first is alignment and understanding of leadership, what this is and what this isn't. This isn't a QI project. This is about running your business differently. The second and the first starting point I would take is involve the patient. Map the journey and the experience from the patient's experience and then assign not only a dollar value cost but a personal cost to that because it illuminates what we don't see in the system when we do that. And third is stay with it, involve finance, quality, care delivery, and support systems together. Because when we put everybody in the same room as a team, we find out we learn a lot more about cost and quality in the intersection points. Well, I think we all know how much of the national gross domestic product in the United States is spent on health care and it's unnecessary to spend that much on health care. Uh, the industry has grown so much and we've done such great things to heal people, but now we need to engage people in their own health and we need to engage communities and we need to really reduce the cost of care so we can reinvest in things like schools and workforce health and other places where people are most of the time. People actually only access health care maybe between five and percent of the time in their lives. So what is it happening around them every day in their life that we can support and impact so people can thrive in their lifetime? What we've learned uh, in our collaboration with IHI over uh, two years is that finance and quality should be on the same team. So collaboration to us looks like we actually train finance people as improvement advisors and finance, quality, physicians, and others work together and actually see the journey of the patient, put a dollar value to that, see what the cost of that journey is, and then work together on improving and defining the financial value of that improvement. In the end, what we've learned is that when we do that, we, we not only reduce cost, but we tremendously improve quality.